Vite, la porte Junior, tu retires la tête d'allumage. Obviously important for the boat. Floating death trap. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Pourquoi on se tire pas d'ici? Préférerait être n'importe où d'ici. J'ai plus vraiment envie de savoir ce qu'on a découvert. Oh, there's something to look at here. On continue. Okay. It, it, it's just a rat. Internal memorandum, 14th Division Army. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it is always when he has guard duties in hold 3A. First is 2400 hours. Check the chart for rotation. William P. Ford, copy to QM AMS. Son, you in port to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Oh, 
is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. I know, man, but... I don't know if I got much in me. They knocked me around pretty good. We'll get you out of here, Conrad. Don't worry. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so. Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. I wonder why this was ripped off. It's a doggo. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something in the script? Je vais aller explorer la salle des machines. Danny, tu fous les soutes. Les soutes? T'es sérieux? T'as vu l'endroit? Ça tombe en ruine, Nelson. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais que. Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler, et là on se retrouve coincé sur ce radio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. What's going on? Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holes. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... <laughs> super ghosts. What? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Who cares what they're planning? I'm planning to make those fuckers pay. Yeah, well, first we need to get out of here. So, what do we do?
way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. this vents hey look what I found over here From Miss J. Rivera Apartment to 275 Lockwood Drive, Crescent Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Great. Of all the places I'm going to die on, a bona fide ghost ship. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. gonna be in trouble because he let the prisoners escape <laughs> are you safe now Stay quiet. Need to keep going. 
Copy that. I love where the dental plays. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. All ship personnel extra guard duty regulations. Due to the special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court martial by order of Captain Ford. Guys, Nobody is allowed in the 3A. Seriously. Nobody. Mystery of the smelly socks, punch and briefs. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound? Sure. This place is fucking massive. I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? You guys is as good as mine. talking to but you don't hear that the whispering June 19th I identified problem areas with structural 
brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold seven, sorry, cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths in, of twin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the soldiers, which has stopped the equipment shout, so, shorting. That has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. June 21. I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. June 22nd. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through Holstein cables of a loft deck, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. a mouse or a rat skull I want to say Thursday 12 the skipper has KO'd the bull, the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and has been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a fella who would help me, who would help load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. But he said there was some guy who made the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get if you're any old grunt. It got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Friday 13. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez says they made some hooch from supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Saturday 14. Just heard one of the guys here snake a look at one of those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get, help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Sunday 15. It's all off. The guy who was gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he is some kind of flake, which might be true. But Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Perez said that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some, but what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Saturday 21. Last night I was on duty with Wallowitz. And God damn if he didn't creep me out he got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called jones that went mia in the jungle reckon that jones and his crew with the one that's in the boxes traveling home just like a saps i sneaked to looked and jesus 
there it was, just like the guy in the port had said, all laid out, real nice, old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us there. He'd make sure we all come. our chance. Grab it. You can't watch my back. What do you think I've been doing? Damn it, they're taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. my decisions. I'm owning my decisions. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. Uh, I got this. Internal memo to all crew, Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Signed, Chap uh, Chaplain Moore, Chaplain. Maybe we can 
as per. Not funny. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on. Hey! According to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? I'm being protective. Like any good fiance would be. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe. Once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. All right, what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. June 18th, Wednesday. We haven't been at sea long and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we've got, I'm sure. But man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having a tall glass of cold milk. Okay, June 20, Friday. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size but no dice it'd take a whole crowd of people to pin him down he certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us that's for sure june 21st saturday i'm sure the cargo we have in the hold is something to do with a squad that went missing their leader jones heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a manchurian child emperor they were said to be cursed but that sounds like a load of baloney i don't know if they found them but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Ah, uh, maybe you should get your ears examined, bud.
Oh, yeah, yeah, we, um, I was just in there. Okay, that wasn't a good premonition. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. I wasn't laughing at you. I was trying to reassure you that it's probably just rats and you have nothing to be afraid of. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do, turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jay. Okay, no, this isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? There's a lot of creepy smoke stuff. What? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Okay, so that was, that, that guy was named Carter. Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna look at all of the coffins. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't wanna know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. The matter. Shh. <gasps> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Okay, it was a it, it, it was a... What? Things are not always as they seem. That's what the guy said in the, like, the intermission part. Things are not always as they seem. Maybe I'm hallucinating? Yeah, that, that's it. I'm probably hallucinating. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time to lose. 
Oh, what the hell is making that sound? Um, what sound? Oh, why so spick and span? There's no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. How is he so perfectly preserved? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch okay. it? Maybe he's not so perfectly preserved. <laughs> okay. Get in some air. Conrad! Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. gone on ahead. Where are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? tells you, don't you? Come on. Stop.
yourself. Damn it. These fucking places cursed. Then why didn't she leave? Look at this. NJ Madan. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Man, what are you doing? What was that? There was a hand. Let's look at the thing. C'est quoi ce bordel? Can I look at the photo now? Shit. 
That can't be a good sign. Mines and until dawn all over again. Oh, Jesus, what happened down here? Charles T. Perez. You're safe on the boat! Shamrock. What happened here? If that isn't enough for you to turn and run the other way, Brad, I don't know what is. U.S. General Infantry, 14th Division. Who's there? Get away! 
No. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no! There was another guy there. Just, just walk the way the ghost went. this. Oh wow, a room that doesn't look spooky in the slightest. Cabal should silently assemble and note more than fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male. First born, faces obscured with hood. Sigils. I know this is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being. Flop but before the festival of Akrama Hamari can ritual of Threshkia is performed to went away demons by means of Cabal. The pentacle shall be drawn out and each member shall stand at one of the five primary points. A lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed in the centre of the pentacle. It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Saurus, sword in hand with all, ex all exultion possible, as is written. We five stand at the furthermost point. We are yet close enough to touch. Pentagram the five-star great power. Turning 90 degrees to your, to describe the universal, at the pentacle is faith. Sword forward and using rents, turn degrees to describe the oc, ocuvernal sigil, constitutes the, with reverence, turn to face north with exultion, exclaim. The sword forward and with exultion exclaimed, the pentacle is sacrifice. Page 34, each member takes a step inward. 
and then is still in the stance of Ram, recite in unison, we are one and so is our Lord. O Saurus, with this sacrifice we ask you to cleanse our aura, to rid us of the demons that plague us. We spill the life of man in your honour that we may ourselves worthy of your trust. Only when the incan let should the five converge upon the drawn each member should in turn to rid the unfortunate body of its unclean blood skull dagger blood tree the body should be transferred into a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can infect the wear unwary and the power of sorrows to keep all safe and so the ritual and no longer should spirits the face to bull may I, I regret saying this 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 place wasn't spooky. It's like some demonic sacrificey thing.
They both look like him. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. Fuck. too far maybe and don't be cheap I mean you didn't feel like paying top dollar and that's what you get you get these guys that are not cream of the crop they're taking it a little too far you know you get my drift so if you want to feel free to pull the old plug get rid of these guys I'm with you I mean these guys are fucking crazy they're chasing us around the ship Operations order. Man overboard ordered full stop and anchor. At 0128, I receive reports of a man overboard. Ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search and recovery of the casualty. To all officers, Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. Sure, make a big deal about like the alcohol stuff. Maybe that's relevant. Just, it's just fucking with me, that's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's, it's just fucking with me, okay? <laughs> Not even one. 
Probably not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? I should. But should I? <laughs> yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? Got some heft at least. Enough for the door. Okay. It's so me, 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 it's so me. Dreamboat. 
Don't shut up at me anymore. It's me, come on, let's go. Jesus! We gotta get somewhere safe. here I think yeah I think we'll be all right here I'm not sure you will oh hello things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual wouldn't you say Now you're one down. And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Uh, not really. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. Dumb things on street. So many dumb things on street. Dumb things.